All right, y'all, and I'm back with another mother freaking video. S fam, stand up, salute. Stay focused and motivated. Get motivated up in this jank one time. Going through my Discord, man, where I get all my requests to do reaction videos, right? If you go to the very bottom link in the description, you will see the link to my Discord. Go over there, join the Discord, go to the hashtag SFAM React little page. Whenever you want to request me to react to a certain video, put the hashtag SFAM React and the link to the video, and I'll get to it as soon as I can, man. A lot of people request me to do these videos because I'm a former drill sergeant. I'm currently a soldier serving in the United States Army. So people put a lot of Army stuff up here for me to react to, and I just check it out, man. I check it out. But I got to give a big, big shout out to Defiantins for putting the hashtag SFAM React and the link to the video in the Discord requesting us today, y'all, to react to the fat electrician. Y'all see that quack bang dropping in right there, right? Y'all see the quack bang jumping in. He's requesting us to react to Respect the Drip Rifle. I have no idea what the drip rifle is, y'all. I know what an M16 is. I know what a freaking M4 is, right? But I don't know what a drip rifle is. So once again, we got the fat electrician up in here giving us some education on what it is and what we got to check out, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it, man. Hashtag SFAM React. I don't know why I just said hashtag SFAM React, but we're gonna get into it, man. SFAM stand up, SFAM salute, stay focused and motivated, get motivated up in this jank one time. Let's get some education right now from freaking the fat electrician, y'all. Let's go. Quack bang. The drip rifle, a battlefield innovation that is credited with saving over 30,000 lives in World Looking pretty War. classic, but looking first, pretty classic. An ad, because I just had a kid and diapers are expensive. This there video you go. is brought to you by Jack. Congrats to fat electrician also for having a new baby. I seen it in his, on his Instagram that him and the wife had a new baby, so congrats to him. Tactical, maker of my personal favorite holster, their trademarked fat guy holster. This holster sits lower than your fat electrician. allowing more room for tactical fluff. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you it's the only holster on the market made with beer gut friendly technology. So if you're in the market for a new holster, I would personally recommend checking out JX Tactical. I'll probably right, check them out. December 1915. 80,000 British Anzac soldiers are pinned down by the Ottoman Empire and need to retreat 80, and get back to the and live another day. It is projected by British leadership that if they do, 30,000 men will be killed. This so is because the about Ottoman 50, Trench and the left. Anzac Trench are so close they can actually see one another and if the ottomans see the anzacs retreating they will charge and they will slaughter them obviously this is not acceptable they need to come up with a plan they yeah need we gotta they gotta do something man. they're manning the front line when they aren't they need to sham or skate on a scale that the world has never seen before that has to be one of the most tactical like you know what i'm saying and it's just crazy when you think about being in a firefight in war in a battle or something like that for you to give the illusion of something else like why like that's like I don't know. To me, that's that's one of the epitomes of whenever you're in in some kind of some kind of firefight, engaging enemy and stuff like that. You want them to think that uh, you want them to think something that's not actually true. And I know a couple of techniques that I'm not gonna share, but there's some things that we do in the army whenever we're freaking engaging enemy and stuff like that. Man, let's go. To aid in this effort, a young Lance Corporal devises a way to shoot a rifle without actually being there. It would later become known as a wow. drip rifle. It's pretty simple. You take an empty ration can, tie a piece of string to it, tie that piece of string to the trigger. You then take the slack from that string, put it underneath a sandbag, and put another ration can full of water on top. This was trench warfare in World That's War crazy, so man. water was pretty scarce, so it was more than likely urine. Whenever you're ready, you poke a hole in the bottom of the top ration can, and water drips down to the can below. After the bottom can fills up enough, gravity takes over, pulls a string out from underneath underneath the sandbag, drops the can to the ground and pulls the trigger. This could take anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes after poking the initial hole. After they figured out how to do that, shit got out of hand. Basically, they picked 2,000 dudes a bunch of them do it. behind as a rear guard. The remaining 78,000 would evacuate over the course of the next four That's nights. crazy, man. Who? That's a good, that's an engineer. Whoever thought of that, bro, like, that's crazy, man. And I, is it the drip rifle or is this a drip technique? I don't know. Let's Let's keep it moving, man. And rear guard continued to fight on the front line while also setting up countless drip rifle See, configurations look. that were manned by scarecrows. And the entire time, that's this freaking is going crazy, down, they man. Are just double fist chain smoking cigarettes to give the illusion that there's far more men on the wow, front line. Wow, come on, man. So then, when the time comes for the last 2,000 men to escape, they run through, poke all the holes in the top cans, and they fucking bounce. They slip away into the night like a fucking fart in the wind, and they're just gone. The rifles start firing on their own, and the Ottomans never caught on to it. And that's the end of the fucking story. 30,000 men were supposed to die. Zero 
zero died. Not a single one. It's that's what's up, to be man. One of the best retreats in military history. That's not a retreat. These motherfuckers figured that's out a, how to work for That's home. a freaking this has skill to be right there, bro. Example of it's not dumb if it works in human history. There you, you have go. Any idea how fucking mad the Ottomans had to have been when they finally rushed the, the trench Ottomans. and realized these motherfuckers have been AFK for the last four hours? They just ran to that trench through no man's land, probably getting the biggest adrenaline dump of their entire life. Hopped in that ditch, ready to fight to the death, and found nothing but cigarette butts and unmanned guns. Come on, man. Fuck me. I really have gone. Even There's worse, nothing up there. That's freaking crazy, shot. man. How do you explain to that guy's family that he got shot by a bucket of piss? There's just some Australian <laughs> at the new campsite eating chow, and he gets the old Xbox achievement pop up above his head. Cool. This very well may be the best example of deception ever used on the battlefield. That's and if you tight, think of man. one better, you let me know in the comments below. In conclusion, it is entirely historically accurate to say that during World War I, the Australian Lance Corporal Underground, through their actions, taught the entire Ottoman Empire to respect the drip. That's Thank what I'm talking about, man. Support the channels. Go buy yourself some merch at thefatelectrician.com. Quack bang out. That's pretty tight, man. I gotta, I gotta say, that is a pretty freaking... It's pretty crazy how they did that, man. Alright, thank y'all so much for coming through and checking that one out with us, man. Also, big, big shout out. Big thanks to the Fat Electrician. Big shout out to Divine Tense for uh, showing us a little bit of something about that. But yeah, that's that's some ingenuity right there, I guess. You know, you if you if you want to say, you know what I'm saying? And for somebody to like have to, it just makes me think of the engineers, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we we be hooking stuff up. We gotta finagle some things and make some things happen. And we'll make something out of nothing sometimes and just get it going, man. So, but anyway, thank y'all so much for coming through and rocking us out with us, man. S fam, stand up, salute, stay folks motivated. Get motivated up in this jank one time. I know I'm definitely gonna look up those holsters because uh, I wanna cut. I just like custom made stuff, so I'm gonna check out the uh, the fat electricians whatever that advertisement that he put in there. And uh, I'm gonna go check me out some of them holsters and see if I can get something, man. But thank y'all for coming through and rocking with your boy. I'm gonna holla at y'all soon. Deuces, love y'all to death. And we out of here, yeah.